coming in with Whoa. a carry band, nine of any sort of shredding backline coming in from RSG. And what is RSG answer right here to Slate with that carry band? Well, Melissa, 1-1 one, one carry has been banned. Claude as well. Currently, we are looking at Clint Bruno that is currently available. We don't really have a lot of other heroes that is capable of doing true damage, except for one more. Jay's, I'm pretty sure you know exactly what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, true damage king. The Leslie. <laughs> Are you seriously want to bring a lesson into this? I'm sorry. I, I don't mean, think this is working. It's pretty hard, right? I mean, you can't go for no. a quick burst because you have a That's Estes, correct. right? That's you have correct. a Estes, you have a Barat, insane healing, and yep, they're going to go for the critical strike instead. They are going to go with the Clint onto Baby Cakes right here. And yeah, I'm sorry, Jace, you can't see your Leslie today. It's okay. I mean, He's mentally prepared. <laughs> I, I'm already prepared. Leslie will never be meta even after the rework. But of course, RSG will opt for that Clint. This time, I would say they are better a marksmen out there. You, you're putting a clean, hoping to burst down Slate. But looking at Slate's draft, they got burst healing, they've got burst, uh, they've got tankiness. I think it's, I think this is also quite a comfort pick coming up for Baby Cakes, and they need to make this work because this will make or break the whole tournament. I mean, look at this clip. Who can possibly burst down apart he from JP? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! no. Oh, 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 oh. Cyclops? No. The Cyclops? No. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's no. going on? That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Abstract is out. He does. He <laughs> hates the, the Cyclops <laughs> to that T. But Sailor will bring it up and show it to Abstract. <laughs> One eye open when I'm sleeping for the... S <laughs> coming up from Slate with the Cyclops to lock down any sort of mobility coming up from RSG. You have so many slick and mobile heroes. Exactly. You want to lock somebody down. I was hinting on <laughs> that Cyclops since oh. game number three-ish. All right, so, so, so wow. you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing here. Cyclops, this is the exact same thing that we have seen in MPL Season 3. The same exact thing that Cyclops was picked at the final game and it did not pull off the, the way we wanted it to. This if I remember that, correctly, yeah, in the this final is series, that, this exactly. is a, almost a close to a reenactment. And I, I... Yes, I dislike the Cyclops. I have many reasons of not liking it. <laughs> many of you guys understand that as well. You all know why exactly I dislike the Cyclops. <laughs> they want that hard lockdown. They want to hunt every member of RSG down with no escape. Guys, game number seven, take it away. It is Slate versus RSG. The final showdown will appear here in the Sanctum Island. The Titan versus the Titan, the Usurper versus the Revenant. Exactly who is going to be the one to take the throne away. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all here to bear witness who is the true winner of MPL Season 4. Slow and steady right now. Slate and RSG. And the Cyclo pick would totally throw everything off, but I can see how it works. But abstract, I know you hate the Cyclops to the core. I do not need to go into a five or ten page essay about my dislike you can write of, a thesis the, of the Cyclops on the Cyclops. A full out thesis, but yes, of course, Cyclops oh, baby does baby have its pros and cons in this oh. very case, in this very occasion. Oh, his oh, planet's oh. attack is important, right? Planet's attack is important in chasing down heroes, and all of these heroes from the side of RSGSG is very mobile, very agile, and, and Cyclops is pretty darn good in chasing them down. All of the planet's attack will knock them out, but is it really gonna be enough, and will he be able to fulfill his role as a middle mage, the disruptor of all lanes? Yes, and I think we have to see going into the game, ladies and gentlemen, of course. Slate doing a wonderful start at the goat lane. On the other hand, Adamera still a little bit struggling against Diablo on this Bandadetta. I think we'll be showing the emblems very soon. And I think, I'm sure you can take us away in terms of the emblems. But for now, it is going to be Baby Gangs once again. Oh my goodness, he's going to get bullied out of lane this time round. Slate is pressuring on the goat lane a lot. That is definitely not something that RSGSG would like. Playing as a Clint, you would want to have ultimate dominance and control. Put this baby cakes 
in a perfect game. But right now, that is not the thing. Well, that is not something that they can look at. That is not something that they are able to do. Yep. So for now, two minutes in, Turtle just blocked. RSGSG, pump the strike, got all the way in gear. He gets deleted, and Slade had, would not be able to secure the Turtle. RSG, full control of the Turtle pit. The Turtle immediately credited over to the side of RSGSG. A Turtle soup for this night for themselves. And now the aggressiveness coming from RSGSG will be played out right here as Brave plunges himself right onto the Bubble buff right in the face of JPL and Sailor. Sailor doesn't have a lot of mana to work with, but with the Enhanced Sword, Bray gets himself away pretty darn easily with not much of a problem. RSGSG continues with their regular routine. Yeah, regular routine. That's what Slate is known for. RSG, on the other hand, has secured the turtle, thus putting themselves ahead in terms of that gold lead. What we need is JPL to get to level 4, and that's when Slate may have a fighting chance. All of the teams coming, or all of the members from the side of RSGSG, one side will want to play aggressively, the other side will want to play passively. Normally, when we are looking at the Benedetta, they would want to cut the waves as much as possible. But this is where I gotta have to say that I gotta give respects over to. That is going to be the Cyclops, because the Cyclops is possibly going to be in the middle lane. He is trying to anchor down due to the very fact that if Benedetta were, go, were to go in and try to go for the proxy, and of course, if the Roma is around, Cyclops will be able to make it in play pretty fast due to the planet's attack. And let's not forget... Edemir is in a bit of trouble. Diablo's already here. The ultimate will be used. Edemir now it. has to run for his life. Charging it all the way. No, no, no. Fire, 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 fire. Coming at the right time. Edemir would not be able to survive. A quick little pincer coming in from RSGSG. They all have got their ideas. And of course, communication going down. Ensuring that whatever that it is, is whoever is low in health must be taken down. Slate Sailor is currently at level 5. Slate JPL is currently at level 4. Whenever we are looking at an Estes at level 4, you will be able to expect the Blessing of the Moonlight Goddess will be popped anytime soon. And that is the peak performance of Estes because no one in the team would have an answer to it unless they have a box here. In this case, you don't have a box here, you do not have the Dominance Eyes. As such, you have no answer to stop um, stop this healing potential that an Estes is capable of bringing through. Okay, this time around, at least Slate does have the ultimate on the Estes. It's time is for RSG to try to pop. Fine, the nice pick up right here. Lozi, he's trying to cave, but he's going to be here. He's Behind. only sitting there. Lava, fire, fire, at the backside, slowing down the damage from the fire around the airstrike. But yeah, he takes the turtle away from RSG. And now it's going to be Slate trying to push down the effort and advantage that they've secured. All of that fight. None of the players from the side of Slate and RSG were taken down. The only one that died, unfortunately, is going to be the Turtle. They all focused on the objectives. They do not want to bring in any casualties onto their own. They would want to be as cautious as possible. As whatever that happens from this point onwards, every single death is going to compound. Every single death that they make onto their side is going to lose gold. And you do not want to see that from yourself. Yep. Bray, up to the top lane, he wanted to go for the enhanced chain. It did it did connect, but Edemir dances around like a dancer, like a ballerina, but Slate right now they could not give as many ma over to RSG because you know RSG, they will take it and make their run for the money. Go lead right now still around 2k. Remember, as long as Slate stays in around 2k, there is a chance. This is a very different fight and this is a very different way of motion and mobility coming from the side of RSGSG. Definitely not something that I am expecting because RSGSG, the way they are playing right now is too Two, one, two. They're Yo, putting a uh, lot of emphasis uh, on the EXP and the gold lanes alike, leaving the middle lane, leaving the faster to deal with the Cyclops in the middle lane. And that is why I don't understand what exactly is going on here. The introduction of Cyclops itself broken, the, mo the, the, the movements coming in for RSG, or rather, yeah. they have a own special plan to deal with this. RSG right now detecting the flow of the map. Don't forget, Benedetta cutting waves. Farsa could go from wing by wings, can fly from one place to another. And speaking of which, FMM, oh my goodness. JPL is right here to hear it all the way back up. But okay, gear coming in for the flank will not be able to do anything as well as RG take down the turret at the bottom lane. In the meantime, up in the top lane, Benedetta is finding himself into a battle against Adamir. No, no. But Sailor does have the ultimate of Diablo, cancels it out and gets 
Gets out of the way like a boss. That's that's why I do not like the Cyclops, guys. If you want to lock someone down, you want to lock him down right there, right now. Not a slow-moving projectile that eventually meet its very doom of an eye for an eye. Just completely cancel it out of the way. Yeah, but the goalie right now, Slate is still around there. But JBL is taking a bit of damage. Better Ezra going on in his heel, but Gets Great up in the it. sky. Great. Sigurd is done for now. I get in a very awkward spot. He tried Let's to go. swallow, but he will not be able to do it. Baby Kane, think of violence. And then one by one, the Slate will fall. Oh, Sailor FMA will go next nowhere for him to run. Lousy picks him up. Three men down from the side of Slate. And the only two people left is going to be the Estes as well as the uh, as well as the Esmeralda. Esmeralda moves himself over to the middle lanes and the rest of the members from RSG pushes themselves down to the bottom. This way, most of the members from the side of RSG will be able to get themselves an economy return out of bringing three person down. That is compounding. They are just going to be increasing their wealth even more and more, increasing the margins between Slate and RSG in the economy. Kills. Five kills in the pocket as far as GSG. Slate need to figure out something fast. Because not only just the members are falling, the turrets, they're falling too. All of RSG, they are just putting themselves right into the face of Slate. Putting themselves in all of the brushes and cornering every single member of Slate. They would want to take control of the qu lower quadrants. They would want to even take control of the upper quadrants. They would want to keep Esmeralda out of the way. In the meantime, of course, we'll have Diablo create as much menace on the opposite side of the map where the main forces of RSG is. RSG is splitting the map all apart. There's so many places that RSG has complete vision of. And once again, Slate find themselves in a five-man death, five man death ball, but they can't find anyone to roll on top of, especially when the 5k gold needs difference. Yes, the enhanced chains go in, but not be able to find anything for now. Lanes are all pushed right up. Yep. Top, middle, and bottom lane. Bottom lane and top lane have lost all of their inner and out. Okay, sorry. Top lane still has their inner turret, while bottom lane has lost its inner turret already. Yep. And this is one of RGSG's members. They are trying to play themselves out for the Lord. They are positioning themselves that way. They would want to maintain a pressure across the lanes in order to get a easy Lord. Yeah, the Lord is definitely up. JPL wants to try and take this Lord away because rest assured, give RSG this Lord, more structures from the side of Slate will be destroyed, especially in the mid part of the game. You can see Slate gearing it up already, trying to look for something. Pick up Baby Cakes is out, putting enough damage. The Lord is already half HP. Powered by looking for a bush to try to stall all the way in. And the mirror charges all the way out. He has to dive in, but he dives in the wrong way. And Slate, they have to try to pull the trigger. Defend the airstrike going all the way in. The yeah! Lord getting knocked all the way up. And it's going to be Slate that loses gear. And break the secure the Lord, and now RSG will be able to push it in. A pause five for a pause one, or rather in this case, pause two. Sorry, while well, the Lord also is going to be recruited by the hands of RSG. Every single one of these waves are eventually just going to be marching right in. The mega creeps as they slowly dawned upon Slate. All of the hardened pushes. Heavy footsteps, as they also, we are gonna hear the machining of the ballistas rampant, going rampant onto the outer turret in the middle lane. It will be taken down effectively. Inner turret in the top lane will be taken down effectively as well. Most of the members of Slate, they would want to turtle up and ensure that the inner turret in the middle lane stays healthy. RSG, I'm pretty sure that they would not allow Slate to turtle this up. They do have the high ground, they do have the siege unit, and Sailor, he gets knocked up into the sky. JPL tried to heal, but the damage has been dead. RSG picks open the mid lane turret at the same time, but the Lord is marching down at the bottom side, and RSG will try to push it all the way in. Diablo ultimate goes all the way in as well. Here, he's really trying to attack, but not enough damage coming up from the side of Slate. RSG, they penetrate the bottom. In the Keep the turret taken down. RSGSG has yet to receive the ultimate goal that they want, and that is to be bring a barren wasteland over to the side of Slate. They still gotta have to bide their time and slowly take their time in order to get the results that they want. Not yet the final nail in the coffin, but as long as they take the time and just wait for the perfect opportunity, no. the opportunity will come. Yeah, Bray is already at level 14, that strike Slate. They are just literally giving RSG every single avenue. Top lane, mid lane, bottom lane is all... Uh, it's mid lane, uh, bottom lane especially, is already gone. Now Slate, this UBE experience is actually quite good, but I have not seen any good plays coming out just yet. 
The problem is from the side of Slate is that they do not have a lot of control of the, uh, onto the jungle. They do have a soft support onto the side of JPL. As such, his usual way of opening up the map is pretty much going to be destroyed. Or rather, you can't see that happening in this game. It all, boil, it all boils down over to gear. How much experience does he have when it comes down to tanking for his team as the solo tank to really peel for his team? Because you wouldn't really want to see an Esmeralda being the, uh, the sole one to really peel. He can come in as a sort of a backup. This time, Gear needs to be the one in front. He needs to be the one that really stands in front. Alas, and Albert, yes, we have definitely seen that happening before because Gear has Dadana's Welcome. Whenever he pulls off the Dadana's Welcome, he does have a, a lot of tankiness onto his side. And that is the time where Slate comes in and pushes RSG into a blender. Yeah, speaking about the blender, I'm looking more of an artillery. RSG, Fire of Fire is starting to hurt. You saw what happened to Gear. He walks in, he gets busted down. Slate unable, JPL, uh, the burst heal doesn't come in on time in order to heal it up. Now, the Luminous Law has spawned. Slate, they need to try to find a way in. The way that Slate wants to play in terms of the win condition is a slow, steady death over to the side mana, of RSG. Though. They, yes, they are running low on mana, but I'm pretty sure that Gear, all he needs to do is a single Dennis Welcome and soak up all the hits, and all of it, all of it is just gonna have to stomp yep. onto his enemy. But if you notice, all the bottom line, you got to play going in as well. Diablo coming in, FMF, oh no! He gets to Nathan at the back Sailor, line! Go. Sailor will go next to the same Sailor, time, go. but Gear, he takes the lot down from RSG, and Slate tries to battle it out for survival. It's just JPL, but there's three members on the side of RSG on him. This Lord is going to be big for RSG. It could be the GG push that we're looking out for, but this might not really matter as much because the bottom lane inhibitor is gone. As such, the bottom lane will push all the way through. Oh, no. This is going to be Benedetta's job. He would want no. to clear out the wave no. as much as possible. Unfortunately, the time is of the essence. Late FMM, which is the first person down, will be back in the game. Yes, the Lord has already been expended. Slate bought enough time, just a little bit about how long will they buy. JPL's not here though. Yeah, no, he's already here, but JPL's, JPL's not up. The RSG, they need to try to rest the advantage right now. Fire or fire, using the better airstrike, will secure the top side turret for now. Never mind, the so one after another, RSG is slowly getting all the objectives that they want. And of course, Slade is slowly sleeping with all of these objectives in between of their palms and between their fingers. First the bottom lane, then the top lane. Up next is the middle lane. The middle lane inhibitor turret has already dropped to 50%. And unfortunately, that 50% will go down to zero in 100 seconds if the Lord is recruited by RSG. But as strategic, you look at the turrets from the side of RSG, they're all super healthy. I can't say the same for the side of Slate. Just one remaining Bastion. Those oh. kicks at the mirror right here. The damage coming off a of baby case. The chain not sure doesn't buy, buy all five with the red extra. No, no. He gets to Layton, and now it's just only four men. Great continues, knocks up two members. Diablo coming in, will be able to kill Shayla at the same time. FMN trying to do up the revenge, but look at him, he will fall next. As Lozzi, it's just JPL, it's just JPL! And Slay will not be able to oh. And Slay wiped out! And all of our OG, they march us in right all to the core! And we have the Raiders shouting for the J! Yay! And ladies and gentlemen, RSG, they reign supreme in season four! The cheers and the roars of everyone here in our Tampines hub have witnessed the original usurper is now the king of Singapore MLBB. Congratulations once again, RSGSG. Second time is not a charm, it is their right. We are now able to now call them the rightful heir of the throne as they walk away as the MPLSG Season 4 Champions! And that is where the Raiders are now gonna scream for me! G! G!
There we go. That's the cheer of the Raiders right there. Congratulations to RSG SG, ladies and gentlemen. That was an intense game. That was a really intense game, Vertigo and Abstract. What a game. So much back and forth. We go all the way to the best of seven. But RSG clinches the throne. They are not only just your MPL Singapore Season 4 Season 4 champion, they will be your representative to M4. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up once again, RSG! RSG, the Raiders going crazy. Look at Bray right there, a sigh of relief. Finally, the pressure cooker has been released and in the best fashion ever. Everyone is absolutely appalled. And of course, we are all amazed at the results. Definitely, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to be on this stage with you guys, as long as everyone here in our Tampines Hub as well. My name is Jay, joining me right here once again on the desk. Amazing casters, Abstract, Vertigo. Congratulations once again to RSG. They are, of course, the winners. And we'll be handing it back to Cheryl in just a moment.